okay. You beat my wolf in the ditto. Let me let me start off with Lucina. Let me start off with uh, the counter. Make sure I don't have to do the ditto for uh, team one. And to be fair to K9s, that is what he mostly did to some of the damage with in Charlie. He took game one with Lucina against him. Fair up tilt string from Charlie. I, know, I love that's what uh, K9 does. He doesn't go for dash attack, he goes for uh, dash war tilt. Just does a little bit more like positioning for Lucina. Catches the double jump. Yet again, doesn't have a double jump, and that's not going to be enough to make it back to stage. You know, Really good on Charlie to you know finish it off with those nares. Yeah, use the dolphin slash to recover a bit high, and could have just directionally air dodge a bit earlier if he wanted to make an early recovery. But oh, what a counter as well! Right. You know, I, I love that K9 scoping that option out. I know it, even if he had, if he even had uh, done it the other way, like that counter had just had so much knockback that Charlie can't attack it. Mm -hmm. No, try up being to break out of the combo, but you know what? Not enough percent for it to put him into enough hits on to avoid it. And there we saw Charlie go for that fair nair up smash, and he misses another tech, but this time he's gonna make it back. Here we go. You know this is very even percent for both players right here. You know, get up attack, beating out the forward smash, and Charlie just randomly throwing out a maverick side B right there, and see. That is why Lucina players don't do enough, is that go in super low to the point where like, okay, this is the maximum distance that you need in order to recover. So I'm gonna throw out a pair now and then I'll up beat. And yeah. we saw K9 was rewarded with it with the stock. A lot of Lucina players are just content to go with a drop down counter or even just a back air to try and get a stage spike. But k 9 is able to follow him back down and even though it's a bit of a riskier option, it connects more of the time if you're able to read that low recovery. Right. And that Nair just hitting on the back hit, but you know, trying to extend it, but no, Charlie gets his own extension off the combo. Nair really misses the back air, and he's just trying to attempt to go for another. Before that back air on top of the platform could connect, K9 smartly dropping down. And again, here we go. Now Charlie and K9 both at kill percent at this point, but the question is, who can sneak in their kill option first? And, no, reading the roll in, no, just waiting, turning around for you know, K9 to pick an option. And picked an option he did, and picked an option he failed at because he got forward tilted the second he picked the get up. And that turnaround F tilt is going to spell the end of game one. Charlie to King with the victory. I mean, Charlie was prepared for roll, he was prepared for normal get up, he was prepared for jump. You know, and I believe he was spaced out well enough that he could have avoided uh, dash attack or get up attack too. So it's going to be game game one to Charlie. After that, we'll have to see how he's going to respond. Keeps the faith in Lucina. I mean, definitely the matchup was completely even. It was just that you no know, Charlie managed to get the the ledge trap at the end. And going super high with these recoveries, you now just trying to avoid all these upbeats and shenanigans. But you know what? Amazing teching from Charlie to avoid that. And just falls into that up smash. And you no know, K9 comes back with a vengeance. And zero to death from K9s as well. He was only de delaying the inevitable with that double tech. Again, double jump from ledge, now just sneaking past the board smash right there. A little quick down air. And yet again, no, K9 just trying to extend this lead as much as possible. Tech, but he's going to wolf flash from above the ledge. Alright. We see K9 just you know, keeping Charlie in disadvantage, you know, this is very much what Charlie was trying to do, but unfortunately the down smash is going to clank with the jab or the down tilt. He's going to roll out and does manage to scoop him up with up smash, but K9 will be living. You know, K9 just throwing out all these aerials right where Charlie wants to go, and you know, Charlie can only just sit there and shield, basically. 
Tech will put him over to the other side of the stage. Only got two hits of that Dancing Blade, but managed to mash out of the grab. You know, like, even though he was at ledge, you know, he wasn't at a high enough percent where Backdoor would have killed him. He was trying to save his kill from from being safe from still. Dolphin Slash out of shield, meanwhile, is going to put K9s up three stocks to one. Ooh, three stocks to one. I mean, you think three stocks to zero because K9 came back with a vengeance. He even said, I had that game one. And I'm going to prove it to you by coming back game two. And a vicious down air to cap off the three stock. If there was any doubt about whether K9 could do this matchup after game one, he's answered it and then some. All right, now we got to see if Charlie's going to switch off of Wolf. I mean, that was a very dominant game plan from from K9. And he's of course sitting on loser's side, so has to reset this and win another set. No, no, this is this is loser's final, so. Oh, is this? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Ne oh. Nito's, Nito's on winner's side. My mistake, yes. So winner has to fight Nito in order to, to win the tournament. I forgot all about that, yes. Okay. So this is loser's, this is loser's where it counts for all the marbles. Loser, this is going home. Yeah. Excellent, perfect shield in the F-tilt afterwards. It is possible for Lucina to get a landing fair that is parried and still be able to drift out of F-tilt range, but K9's not properly spacing that. Right. And you know what, you just see you now Wolf trying to throw out his aerials, but you know what, Lucina just keeps on poking him with her sword. Plays just wasn't the play there, but Charlie almost gonna get the flash afterwards. K9 fading back. Right. And there's the fourth throw, gets him off stage. We well, see K9 just setting up the wall of pain right here. Charlie back on the ledge, you know, trying to get back, but sneaks in and there. Barely gonna make it back with enough magnet hands. Runs up and gets the fourth throw afterwards, though. Right. And I love what both players are doing. Yep. K9 air dodge, and you know what? Charlie, you do exactly what to do, because once you air dodge, you can't air dodge again. And just like what uh, Charlie did to K9, K9 was just like, okay, you went super low down here. I know that eventually you're gonna have to double jump, and the second you double jump, I can get the barrack for the kill. Yeah, Charlie hasn't done too much wolf fire wolfing from the high part of the stage. Either he's gone for flash or a low recovery, and I think K9's is catching on. I feel like it's not even the fact that like you're catching on is that you have to be in position in order to catch it too. Mm -hmm. And no, K9 was just in the right position at the right time. Yeah, the back interrupting the S9. Charlie opting to go in high to, you know, get center stage control, but you know, it still manages to keep center stage. So you know, it's up to K9 to kind of break out from the center. And now we have reset neutral. Again, both players just trying to get in their, their poking tools just to tie the tide of the battle into their favor. But Charlie, unfortunately, has ding right there. You know, thought that the horizontal recovery would snap ledge, but unfortunately, it kind of just went down low and just didn't grab ledge. Yeah, that 90 degree angle is going to be the end of that. It's SDing at only 67%. And again, just grabbing the normal get up. And again, quick down tilt, and yet again, knew he had the air dodge in order to make enough distance to get back, and Charlie was right there with a nair waiting for his face when he uh, was out of that lag. Yeah, start this one with a reflector, actually. Backwards nair into two consecutive dash attacks, has applied 74% and counting. Charlie's just like, I'm not gonna let that SC get the better of me. I'm just gonna take this, and I'm gonna take it as far as I can. And you know, and now it's up to K9 to kind of make up this percent. No, Charlie's just running away with the stock. There we go, you know, Charlie finally uh, ending up the pressure. You know, K9 just kind of throwing in hits in here and there, but you know what? He really needs a solid play in order to bring this game back. There's the first hit of that, and that gave him enough hit advantage to get the up smash afterwards. Charlie the King capitalizes on a hasty, da uh, hasty side special from K9s. All right. And, you know, it's if you're K9, like, what do you do? Do you go through all four hits of it? Because you know, like, the second that you hit side B on shield, 
you know you're going to get whacked super hard. Mm -hmm. The question is, can you mix up your timing to avoid that punish option? And K9 looks like he might be contemplating another counter pick. He has gone back to Lucina now. I mean, we might see the wolf, you know. And this is where if you play multiple characters, you have to decide, like, okay, has he figured out my character? If so, should I switch, you know? But I feel like his Lucina is definitely his strongest pick in this particular matchup. I mean, it takes a strong character and a strong mindset to be able to three-stock a player like Charlie. And if he's done it once, he can certainly take another game again. All right. You know, I just feel like this this matchup, not, not even, like, the character-wise, but just the player matchup, it's both of these characters, both of these players, actually, are very momentum-based players. You know, if you can, like, push your advantage, if you can, like, corner your opponent mentally, you know, it's going to just come out so much in the gameplay. And I think partially a lot of that is due to the fact that both of these characters have such strong mid-percent strings. Wolf in particular. Dash attack and gets both hits of up smash. And just sneaks in the bear right there. Charlie the King taking first blood of this game. And to get something started with the reflector. All right. But you know what? Not going to be able to find it. And you know, K9 tries sneaking in, tries to mess up his timing. But you know what? Unfortunately, it goes a little bit too slow when he got the hit confirmed. But gets the confirm with the down B counter. And yet again, Charlie just lost the stock right there. Even ending up at only 19%. And that's easy percent for K9 to make up. Yeah, putting a stop to the floodgates before they could get too fully open. And again, here we go, Charlie. Charlie trying to just put the fear of life into this man right here, going for that wolf flash. And you know what? Even if he whipped that wolf flash, like he still kept up the pressure, you know? Yeah. So Charlie just taking command to get the neutral off the second stock. And again, you can get a true wolf flash out of soft nair or landing fair, but just didn't read the DI right and not going to be in a particularly advantageous situation at all. Charlie has canines down the tournament stock. Here we go. This is final stock for K9, though. Know. Definitely, I feel like he can do he, I, I'd like to see K9 do it, because I know he can. I'd like to see a game five at the very least. This oh. set certainly deserves it. All right. But, you know, Charlie would have other things to say about going to a game five. You know, he's just like, oh, I have the lead. I smell victory on the other side of grand finals right now. I just need to get to one last stock. That rolls into the Dancing Blade, but He's going to recover nicely. This time, picks the right angle on the Firewolf. Oh, catches the roll. No, K9 trying to get back to ledge. Gets the parry off the get-up attack, and that will be the stock and the set for Charlie the King. 3-1, and a quick, quick bounce back from that three-stock in game to Charlie the King with an absolute goal on his mind, and that is to get 